Hello, this is your dog, Lilu. We'll talk about sex and intimacy during COVID-19. We have to uh, consider four points. First would be, um, just to be direct, okay? We consider first quarantine couples, husband and wife. What do they do if you're quarantined or locked down inside a house? Could you have sex? Is it okay to have sex? That's the question. Okay, we'll do this fast. Some tips, tips lang, okay? I'll be talking in Tagalog English, all right? I hope it's okay for those who don't understand Tagalog. Anyway, problem of husband and wife now it's COVID-19 is they feel like they cannot make love. But actually you can. You can. Okay, I'll give you some tips. Just a few tips. First, for example, that you are not going out. It's just staying home. Not a frontliner. You're not sick. You don't have fever. You don't have cough, colds. You can smell well, you can eat well, you're active, you're strong, you can make love. But the pointers will be this. Set the mood to spice up what's gonna happen tonight. <laughs> Set the mood, okay. Don't be corny. Just go, if you feel like it, then set the mood like, oh, sweetheart, I want to do it. If you're a woman, the wife, you can actually initiate that. Of course you can, okay? Don't wait for the husband to initiate it. You do it, okay? Different times now, okay, you can. You set the mood and then another good tip is get dressed up. When I say dress up, well, you don't have to wear your gown or any, what, a heavy uh, shirt or heavy pants or, I mean, you know what I mean by heavy? Huh? Like, um, uh, like going to a formal party or formal affair, you wear something heavy dress, heavy pants, you don't wear that. When I say dressed up, meaning that will be a, you are visually attractive to your partner, okay? Even that is only house dress, duster lang po yan. You can, of course you can. Okay, you can wear that, right? House dress, duster, pajama, short pants, pambahay. Wear din naman, di ba? Same thing with a husband. You can wear your shorts, your khaki, or porontong, I don't know. When I say get dressed up, that means you are not stinking, okay? Mabango ka, kuya. Mabango ka, ate. Hindi ka amoy patis, no? What you've been wearing in the morning, you still wear it lunchtime, evening? No. Okay, take a bath. Get dressed up, look good. Look fresh, smell fresh. Okay. Next tip would be um, put it on the calendar. Put it on the calendar, which means schedule it. No unang panahon, <laughs> before COVID-19, you don't schedule sex between husband and wife. It just goes on spontaneously. But if you feel like it, oh, let's make love, yeah? But this time, no, you can't do that. You know, you're so stressed, full of fear, full of anxiety, full of problems. Put it on the calendar. For example, you, you um, felt like making love on a Wednesday, Wednesday, okay? Then do that every Wednesday. 
will be looking forward every Wednesday now. Mm. You're always prepared for a Wednesday. Once a week, fine, that's fine. But if you want it twice a week, schedule that too. Maybe Wednesday and Thursday or Wednesday and um, Sunday, twice a week or Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I don't know. What I mean is, what I mean is schedule that and you will be looking forward on that day, okay? All right? <laughs> and aside from that, of course, you have to um, do foreplay longer. Be prepared. All right. All right? So these are some tips for quarantine couples, for husband and wife. What if, if you are with your children, with your kids, or with your grandchildren? What do you do? And everybody's inside the house doing their online classes. What do you do? Okay. First things first. If you feel like doing it and the kids are around, you cannot do it in front of them, of course, but you have to um, make uh, some adjustments or be creative. Okay. Be creative means... First, you communicated first that you have plans of making love. And then when you are connected, then you have to be creative. Tell your kids, Oh, may magandang palabas sa TV. Oo, uh, Netflix, manood kayo. And then watching a movie in Netflix. I don't know, whatever. Netflix or not Netflix. Maybe two to three hours of watching the movie. That's the time. That's the time you sneak out. If, for example, they watch a movie in the dining area or in another room, you can tell your kids or grandchildren that you will just take a nap. Just take a nap. <laughs> but you're not taking a nap. You're going to your own room and uh, make love. Mm. Yes. Okay. So two, three hours is long enough. Yeah. Mm. Okay, right? You sneak out. And another tip, don't be so noisy. You're on another room. What if they're watching movie on the other on the other room? But you don't have to be so noisy. Just shh. You're just sneaking out. Don't be so noisy. Keep quiet. <laughs> If you have this uh, orgasmic shouting, stop it. Keep quiet. Hmm? So that's a tip for quarantine couples with kids. Third one would be, what about those into a LDR, long distance relationship? Could be uh, your husband is abroad on another part of the world or maybe your boyfriend is a, another part of the world. It's a long distance relationship. The question would be, can we have sex? Physically? Of course not, you cannot, huh? Because he or she is not in front of you, right? Of course. Pero, may paraan. Okay? How? Do a virtual romance. It's not cyber sex. It's a virtual romance between you and your partner. Okay? How do you do that? First, you should have a good internet connection. Number two, a good gadget, maybe a laptop. So you have to invest. Good Wi-Fi, good gadget. Better a laptop. Or a tablet, cell phone too small. Okay, so what do you do by uh, virtual romance? How do you do that? You see, you can eat together, drink alcohol together in front of the laptop. Okay, I drink, I cheers, my love. Ooh, you see, <laughs> all right, it's not cyber sex. Why did they say that? What if 
your husband will ask you, oh, I miss your body. Can you show your body to me, my love? And what will you do? As a woman, will you do it? Why not? That's your husband, right? Of course you can. In the privacy of your room, be sure that your ro roommate or whoever, nobody's inside the room. Of course you can. In the privacy of your room, lock the door, close the windows, close the curtain. And then if your husband will ask you, I miss your breast, I want to see your breast, then show him, why not? What if the husband got stimulated and he wants to masturbate? What now? Will you let him stop? Will you? No. You don't have to. Okay, again, in the privacy of the room, nobody is with you inside the room except the laptop and in front of you, the wife or the husband, okay? Lock the door, close the windows and be quiet because if you're about to have your orgasm, if you're so noisy, don't be so noisy. Shh. Again, control the noise, okay? What if your roommate is on the other room and then he or he might hear you, right? You know what I mean? So pray there, you can. A couple even suggested to me, uh, we are into a long distance relationship and um, I asked my wife to uh, use a vibrator, okay? Okay. A vibrator, which I call not a dildo, but a marital aid. Marital aid. Tulong sa mga asawa. Okay. Can that help? Of course it can. If, for example, your husband will tell you, um, I, I, I bought a, uh, a vibrator or whatever, okay, um, a marital aid, and it will arrive soon. You can use that, my love. He told you that. And what will be your reaction? You'll be shocked. Don't be shocked. It's okay. You can use that. Okay. You can use that in front of each other, maybe alone. But in the privacy of your room, nobody will know, okay? Don't be so noisy. But I want you to uh, control the usage, which means it doesn't have to be every day. In other words, schedule again. You can schedule that virtual romance. Of course you can. Remember, you are into long distance relationship. So a virtual romance is perfect, okay? And you're looking at your husband or wife in front of the laptop and uh, anything could happen, right? I'm sure you know what I mean, okay? Can be, can be, can be. <laughs> Wait, the fourth, Tip would be, uh, first we talk about quarantine couple, then quarantine couple with kids. Number three, long distance relationship. And then number four, single and sexually active. So what do you do during COVID-19? Go out, pay someone, pay a uh, prostitute, huh? No, 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 don't do that. I will never do that, okay? If you're single and you're sexually active and you have the urge, you know what I mean? The urge, hold your horses. You are the safest sex partner, which means you don't have to check on the phone, go to a website where you can pay a woman, and then you meet up outside in a hotel or motel, I don't know, don't do that. Remember, it's COVID-19, right? Don't do that. 
you might be infected because how will you know if the, the woman that you paid has no COVID-19? Yeah? What if you even ask her like, but test ka mo na, have a test first. Don't do that. That will be a problem. What if that girl has no COVID-19, but has STD? That's a different story, right? But still, a virus like HIV. What if that girl has HIV? So what will happen to you? So control your horses. Your horse is uh, to active, control that. Okay. What can I do? You are the safest partner. What do you mean? You masturbate if you feel like the urge. Yeah. But you don't have to do that every day because if you do that every day or three times a day, dangerous. This is the top result. Yeah. So that is dangerous. If you do that three times a day, oh my God, that means you are an addict already to pornography because a tendency of single sexually active people, they watch pornography. You can do that, but not every day, hello. You would rather watch pornography than going out and paying prostitutes, okay? But watching pornography is also dangerous. So you can watch that maybe once a week, masturbate once a week, okay? You have to control your horses, control your urges. Because if not, you will be addicted. And if you're addicted to pornography, your brain will shrink. That's true. Your brain will shrink or you might even have early dementia, early Alzheimer's. And if you keep on masturbating two, three times a day, every day, if you're right-handed, your penis will bend to the left. And if you're left-handed, your penis will bend to the right. So mm, what now? Remember, sex is good. I didn't say that it's bad. Sex feels good. I didn't say that it does not feel good, right? But use your brain. You have a brain, right? Of course you have a brain. But if you're not using your brain and uh, you are so, uh, you know what I mean? You're so hot. I want to go out. I'm going to pay prostitute. Your brain will shrink if you keep on doing that. Especially if you watch pornography, your brain will shrink. And if you go out with prostitutes, well, maybe before your brain will shrink, you already have the virus. You might even have STD, like HIV, and die of AIDS. So where are you going now? What's your choice? When I say control your urges, control the, uh, the tension that you feel, how? I don't know, maybe you could uh, paint or write a book or do cross stitch. Uh, learn something new, read something new. Use your brain, not only for movies, not only for games. Learn something that you don't know. Okay, do you remember the four tips for quarantine couples, quarantine couples with kids, long distance relationship, and single or sexually active? Okay, all right, okay, don't forget. Sex and intimacy are not the same. Okay, sex is sex, intimacy is intimacy. If you just do sex and sex and sex, dangerous and when you say intimacy it could mean so many things not only sexual intimacy next time we will talk about eight types of intimacy would you like that okay okay gotta go now i'll see you again on my next wellness dr lu here bye